if you've been watching the freaking uh, travel videos out here at DeGlamis, um, on that second one, you've seen that Tristan wasn't faring too well on that quick little rip. We went to Olds and uh, well, we got to the top of it and he was like, whew, get me back to camp. Now, let's be honest though, we just drove all the way from Ohio, the most terrible amount of sleep that you ever got in your life. Probably. Dude freaking drove a shit ton, regardless of what anybody <laughs> thinks or says, I don't yeah. know, but we got here and that's ultimately all that matters, but dude's a champ. Don't let it. up on the drama mean this time. Yes, yeah, so we got double, we got, <laughs> dude, if you get seasick out here, double patches, or at least a patch. You gotta do the patch. The pills, in my opinion, garbage. You gotta have the patch, so you gotta get those, and hopefully that'll take care of you. I so he's not. loaded up on the <laughs> drama mean. So. We're hoping that he can freaking make it through. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna go take a rip real quick to swing set. That gives Seth some time to freaking unload. He's still gotta go get another trailer. I was parked there, I moved there. I'm officially stuck right now. First time I've been stuck in the dunes, but <laughs> I think Seth has got something that's gonna get me out, no problem. So, am I worried about it? Not at all. So, anyways, are we loaded up and ready to go? I think so. All right, you ready to find out if you got the freaking guts to I'm handle this? Try. I'm gonna try, yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready for all it. Right. How was that little rip, son? That was sick. That was good. We had a, a, a good little session for a second, and then it kind of filtered out. <sighs> yeah, you were carving smooth for a minute. Yeah, and it then it looked like you, I mean, you knew what I was doing. Out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was even thinking to myself, like, yeah, okay, they like this one. Well, we made it over here to Flagpole on our way to swing set. Figured we'd stop and take a second. Give me a chance to check with Tristan and see how he's feeling. Feeling pretty good. Feeling good, huh? Yeah. Like feeling, totally good. Like totally good. Like, like we just ripped like it harder yesterday. than we did yesterday, and I was sick yesterday. No, yesterday yeah. dudes are pretty big. Yeah, so I think. Yeah. Those are big bowls behind there. Yeah. Yeah. These are, these are cool, speedy, fast transitions. Yeah. yeah, they're nice. Well, I'm glad because I was worried, dude. I was I like, was man, worried. I do not want him to be sick and miserable. All I know. Week. No matter what though, even if I got sick, my goal was to still, I'm gonna ride at least one yeah. time around, whether it's like an early one or later one, and it can ruin my day after that. I yeah, you can always just puke out the window, dude. Listen, from my yeah. experience though, every time I miss a ride though, it's always the, the best one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> always is the best one. Yes. It works, dude, you can't. You can't miss any, because that's when the, it really goes down. That's a good flag they got up there. She's still good. I don't know why you don't have a Lulu sticker up there. Um, there is one on there. One on the swing set. Yeah, there's, there's like four. There's, on there's the one on there side. somewhere, dude. It's on that pole. I think Austin or Aiden put it on there. It might have got covered up. Yeah, I think people just keep stacking yeah. them. Can't be freaking happier to be out here freaking ripping. And this is so nice and chill right now because there's not a flood of freaking razors and can ams and freaking speeds and well, I'm not looking, very many speed I'm UTV. Sorry. Crowd, <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. Point, but I like this I'm like forward, calm before yeah. the storm. Like, I enjoy this time. Do you have any hot chews, dude? It's pretty, yeah, I got a ton. You want one right now? Banana one. Huh? Tom said there's banana ones in there. He probably had a coconut and thought it was a banana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He said it was way too banana. Dom, you had a banana hot chew? Let's, let's, talk. let's find out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think there was a banana. What'd I say? No bananas. No bananas. <laughs> I don't know what Dom's been eating. There is pina colada. Hey, this is reliable, dude. <laughs> <laughs>
You're gonna need that map. We're gonna leave you here. Dude's 21 and his taste buds are shot. For anybody. These are the ultimate like dune candy because they just instantly give you freaking like saliva and refreshness. They're very refreshing. What was that map for, dude? Glamis? It's mapped where all the big booty girls are. Ooh. This is a list of how many are out here. <laughs> it's the phone numbers, dude. That it's the same phone numbers you find on the bathroom stalls. Some dude named Ted. We're gonna freaking candy up and uh we're gonna freaking head on over to swing set. And uh yeah, I don't know, maybe take that jump for a test drive and see what it's all about. We're going to swing set, boy. We just left flagpole. Time to see some crazy dunes. <sighs> Guys, just got over here to freaking China Wall, and I'm telling you, we had a freaking epic ride over here. Are those the dirt bikers? Sorry, we didn't bring your fuel. <laughs> Frick, dude. We have no idea what we're gonna do from one minute to the next. Plus, it takes us forever to do anything. When I blasted through these whoops to go up China Wall, I definitely had some serious wheel spin. Well, she's not that great, but I think she'll be all right. Is this the ride you've been waiting for? Sick. Hell yeah. I oh, love it, dude. So glad we're out here, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm so glad Justin let you borrow these paddles, too. Because, dude, it's crazy. From doing what we've done with this, with these Pro R's, with the freaking off road tires, to coming out here now with paddles, like, you could be in the most sketchy, like, spot and just pull yourself right out. Go! Go! Dom, I wish we had a dirt bike out here for you. Fuck no, dude. Huh? No. I learned my lesson, <laughs> dude, with the, dude, with the mini, no, I'm good. Yeah. You would drag me, dude. I went straight to a tree. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was on there for the longest <laughs> feet said, of life. No, no. I mean, Superman did. so funny. No, no, right before you said that, dude, I pulled up on Dom, and he, he looked like he just wiped out. He looked defeated in the face. <laughs> I, go, I go, what happened, dude? He said... I just supermaned it on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> on flat ground? <laughs> the trails. It like oh, really? The so oh, like, no. The bike, like this dude just like, hit, <laughs> hit every tweet, dude, scraping me. Oh, oh I wish I, 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 I would have seen that, dude. Not for me, hey, I bet you I could talk one of those guys into letting you use his bike. No, dude. <laughs> not even a chance? No, dude. I need four wheels and two goofy, dude. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm having a very good time. Yeah. I'm so glad you you're know. not green in the face. Me too. Puking all over the mother effing place. That's right. <laughs> Found a little jump over here. It's not really much of anything crazy, but we haven't really found anything good, so we're going to hit this a little bit and keep on searching. Woo! It's got a rough lander. That's a... That's a real rough lander. One more time. <laughs> nice, nice. I think he's done. Think so? Yeah. It's my turn, I guess. Send it in. Huh? Yeah, I'll send it. Send is the lip done or is it still there? No, it's good. Still okay? okay. It's rounded, dude. Huh? It's pretty good. So it's just like a long distance sender. Yeah. Have you got any spine smackers or? Yeah, you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll freaking hit it a little bit. Nice. That was nice. Landed perfect. Huh? That was beautiful. Oh, dude, where'd I land? What? That 
little thing right there? No. In front of that patch, yeah. Really? <laughs> nice. <laughs> she popped up for a wheelie after that land him. Oh, he's like, hold up, that ain't even my best yet. Am I getting any further at all? That second one, we got further. The second one was good. Yeah, yeah the second one was the best one. So hit it harder? I'd say. Huh? I'd say. Alright, one more last time. See how far we can get on this one. I think the farther I go, the smoother the landing is. That's really. what I said. Yeah, dude, so yeah. Let's bank on that. We just got back a little bit ago from that nice little rip over to uh, China Wall, messing around, playing around, found a little little tiny jumps, nothing too crazy, but it sure was fun. Always a good time, no matter what. I think I'm having some issues with my fuel pump because once I get about 35% fuel left at full throttle, this thing just dies out. I mean, it just starts gurgling and there's like no power. I have to literally feather the pedal, just perfect, to keep it in the throttle. So. Um, I had issues with that at Silver Lake and I wasn't sure if my, my air filter was just plugged up and it was suffering for it or sucking trying to suck air and wasn't getting it or I don't know I cleaned out the freaking spark arrestor in the back made sure that thing was clear there was no issues with that and uh, I was hoping it was a fluke thing but evidently it's not so I'm gonna have to keep this thirsty girl fueled up at all times and once I get to about 35% I'm just gonna have to know I'm either gonna have to freaking watch what I'm cutting what I'm hitting or come back and fuel back up, which really sucks. So, um, new fuel pump <sighs> coming for this girl soon, hopefully. What's going on, buddy? We finally made it. Ah, dude, I'm just pumped, man. It's crazy. We just were doing this at Camp Razor, and here we are again. Slowly but surely. It's crazy. It's crazy. What is this like? The it's like our fourth or fifth time. Yeah. Ripping together, dude. Which is freaking awesome. Crazy that you guys come all the way out here just for this place. dude. It's but nuts. It's, it's, oh my gosh, it's believable. It's understandable. It's worth it, man. It's, I mean, it's the best thing going. Oh, it's worth it. I mean, if I could get you guys out to the east coast and do some ripping through some trails, I mean, you, you, it's gonna happen one day. I hope if we didn't lose you two, it's all your fault, it really dude. Was, though. It really was, though. <laughs> it really was. It's there, but uh, you know, it's all good. Next it one. is all good. Next one. It'll happen. It'll happen, dude. <sighs> Ride's looking good still, man. 
Looking so good. All right, don't let me hold you up. I'll be quick, I'll be quick. We're about to go out on a rip here in a little yes. bit, so we're fueling up. Seth's putting the paddles down, and uh, it won't be long. A little bit later. GoPro, look at me right here. This is the uh, future me talking to the present me. Get ready, because we're about to throw down on this night ride. seen this place this did dude it's quiet this is awesome though this you is gotta crazy enjoy this too uh, huh you gotta enjoy this part too oh yeah yeah because it's all to yourself all of it and that usually does not happen never that never happens i'm gonna spin around here for y'all to see there is literally nobody out here besides that one side by side over in the distance and these two can ams at the top of old I mean, you guys seen videos of olds and it's usually fluttered with neon glow from freaking whips and all kinds of stuff. There's nobody out here. It is so quiet, peaceful. It's amazing. So we're just out here kind of kicking it and bullshitting. And uh, yeah, we're going to hang out here for a little bit and then we're going to rip back to camp. So great first night ride. It's amazing. Wish everybody was with us out on here. Um, Austin decided to stay back at camp and sleep which I think he needed, so I think that was a good decision. Tomorrow he'll be all fresh and ready to go all day. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at, that's what we're doing. Awesome second day out here in Glamis, having a blast. Got Seth out here, obviously, leading the way on the night rides as usual, killing it. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're gonna head back to camp here pretty soon. Oh, Aiden and Gino ended up landing at the airport. Like we said, we left the Gladiator, the trailer, and the Phantom there. Well, I'm not sure how this happened, but evidently, when I parked the Gladiator in its spot in the parking lot, I freaking got out, hit the key fob, locked the door, 
jumped in the freaking bouncer and headed to Glamis. And evidently, I left the freaking Gladiator running the whole time. So when they got off the plane and got to go get in the Gladiator, it wouldn't start. Thought it was the battery at first. I have a jump pack in there. Wouldn't start up. Come to find out, she was out of fuel. So, um... Not really sure how I did that. That's a, definitely a first for me. Must have been the excitement of getting out here to Glamis, and I, I completely freaking made a bonehead move on that deal. But um, they ended up getting somebody from the airport to uh, help them find some fuel, or they got enough fuel to get to a gas station, and they are on their way. So they should be here about 11, 12 o'clock tonight, and uh, hopefully they get here safe and everything's good. But yeah, just a little bit of last minute drama or, or early start drama for them, considering they just landed in Arizona and uh, had that happen. But I thought that was pretty wild. But they are on their way and uh, yeah, we're gonna head out of here pretty soon. So we'll get back with you when we get back to camp. A little bit longer than a few minutes later. I gotta stop, or I gotta hop in that shark. Yeah! <laughs> that was freaking awesome, dude. We freaking bombed that freaking dude. drop. Yeah. Oh, it's all good, dude. <laughs> yeah. That on that ride. Yep. yep. <laughs> that was uh, sick, though. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Oh my gosh, that was great. So, we just got back from that crazy ride. First night ride of the trip, and it did not disappoint. Did it disappoint? That was a good ride. <laughs> I mean, there's a, <laughs> you just gotta focus and just keep up and everything will be fine. But I'm telling you what, you are moving. It's just great. I don't know how Seth does it. I gotta be honest. Big prop, Seth, because you freaking light it up on the night ride. It's like, hey, dude, never lose momentum. Nope. I mean, just keep going, dude. It's, it's wild, dude. If you guys ever get a chance to be out here while we're out here and you want to get on a wild night ride, just hit us up. I'm telling you, we will not, you will not be disappointed. Freaking, I think everybody should be able to get on one of those. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you should experience that. And Tristan's about to freaking bolt up the hubs. To my freaking RC truck right here, the freaking low C rock ray. So I went to put these on the day before we left Ohio, and I realized that the hubs didn't freaking match up. So um, you got those internal hubs. There should have been something in there. Oh, yeah, these. Yeah. So you bolt these onto your rims, and then those are gonna freaking bolt onto your hubs on the car, but they weren't the right size. So I freaking ordered these up. I sent them to Seth. Oh, shoot. I sent them to Seth's house in California and uh he just brought them so this is one of the packages i sent him so we're gonna get the rc truck on these paddles and that thing's gonna be ripping so i'm looking forward to that this camper's the best it's the best while we're saying that just hey cory thanks again for bringing this thing out here freaking love it we appreciate you buddy